A record number of UK students secured a place at university this year, with almost 450,000 domestic students starting degree courses. But amidst frustration at ongoing online learning, which many suspect is a way to cut costs, more and more young people now question the broader idea of going to university. But Britain's lagged for years when it comes to vocational education. The German apprenticeship system, in contrast, develops and celebrates practical know-how seen as by no means inferior to academic qualifications. And of course, with more than half of young people now attending university, there's concerns standards at university are slipping. The Office for Students, the government regulator, warned last autumn it could fine universities for running poor quality courses, so-called Mickey Mouse degrees. Now, as it happens, this is National Apprenticeship Week, with the government promoting the importance of vocational education, and not only for school leavers. On cue, the rail company Northern, the UK's second largest train operator, is urging so-called Generation X, those before 19, born between 1965 and 1980, that's me, to consider applying to its industry-leading apprenticeship scheme. Northern's already the largest provider of such opportunities across the rail industry, with almost 600 apprentices, employed in roles including drivers, engineers and business administrators. Now, almost everyone would agree the UK does have a skill shortage in many key areas, not least construction, manufacturing and engineering more generally. Successive governments have talked a lot about so-called T-levels, vocational qualifications for school leavers, already launched in sectors like education and childcare, but not yet covering engineering and manufacturing. That won't happen until September 2022. And on top of that, among some young people, apprenticeships do have an image problem, often seen as a cheap labour scheme with not enough meaningful training or transferable skills. But without more skills, UK productivity will decline, the efficiency of the economy, stymieing our growth and investment, lowering living standards for all. So that's our on-the-money question today. How do we make apprenticeships more attractive?